This is gonna be a very quick video about saving and loading effects presets in mixing station. So I'm gonna go to the effects menu. The first time I did this, it confused me a little bit. So here's what's going on. Folder icon on the top right corner of the screen. Click on it and then you can choose if it's the mixer presets that are saved on the mixer or if it's mixing station presets. So if I hit save right here and call it something and then hit okay, now I have a preset. You can see on the presets page right here, you have a rack to choose from. And these racks are these one, two, three, four, five, Five, six, seven, eight. However, what I thought was that I was gonna hit save or hit load and then it would ask me which rack. But on mixing station, it's the opposite. You choose the rack first. So if I want to save that effect right here, the dual combinator on rack number four, I would go to this folder icon and hit presets and then choose rack number four first and then I would save it and call it a name. That's it. If I want to load that, I'm going to first choose which rack position I'm going to load it into. And why is this important? Because if I go out of this and I have the preset saved and I want to go into the effects, folder icon, presets, now I'm going to load this. I think that this should be in rack number four, but you have here selected rack number one. So for example, if I have something else like a graphic EQ and I hit load on a preset and that's in the wrong rack and now I remove the graphic EQ and I get a ton of feedback and I don't know why this happened. This is why it happened. Okay, always select the rack that you want to save from or load into. So I want to load that into rack number four. I select rack number four and then I hit load. I'm going to show you the first preset I saved. If I hit load and I have selected rack number four, now I have this effect right here. Same goes for mixer presets. I'm gonna hit that folder icon again and go to mixer presets. These are saved on the mixer. The other ones are saved in mixing station in the app. And this is the one that is a bit more dangerous than the previous one, because in my mind, I will click on it and hit load, yes, and then it should ask me, where do you want to load it? But this is not how it works in mixing station. You have to choose the rack first. I want to load it in rack number six, select rack number six, and then click on the preset and load it. And now I have it in rack number six. And I want to save a preset on the mixer. I will go to an empty spot. And I think that I should just click in an empty spot, give it a name, hit OK, and then ask me which one. But it's the other way around. You have to choose which rack you want to save first and then save it. So no matter if you're using the presets that are saved on the mixer or the presets that are saved in mixing station, always, always choose the rack position first before saving and before loading an effect. And that's it for today. Just a very quick video. If you liked it, make sure to hit the like button and click on the video on the screen right now. And I will see you there.